Hi, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good. So where are we? We are in Saxon right now. This is where I live. Um, I'm Madeline, I'm a second year at UCLA and I'm really excited to show you guys around. Awesome, um, let's head over to your dorm. Okay, perfect. Ooh, welcome to my home. Oh my gosh, so cute. Everything's all decorated, all Christmassy. I absolutely <laughs> love it. We have our little wreath right there. <laughs> uh, love to see it. So do you want to give us a little tour around? Yes, absolutely. Okay, so obviously, first and foremost, this is the living room. My favorite place because the majority of the dorm rooms don't have a living room, which is obviously like one of the biggest reasons I chose to live in Saxon, or at least I put it at the top of my list. Um, and so it doesn't come with the TV. We brought that <laughs> a little extra just to make it more homey. So did all of this furniture come with a room, like the couches? Um, I know you said the TV doesn't, but all three of the couches came with a room? Yeah, all three of the couches, as well as these two side tables came with the room. Um, we brought like the little like blanket to throw over and the pillows. And then also the fridge we had to rent. Yeah. And so like the lamps also came with a the room. They're actually, <laughs> let me show you this. <laughs> They're actually attached. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's convenient. You know, they'll never like fall <laughs> off or something. No, I didn't realize that first. And then I was trying to move it and I was like, oh, be careful, like don't tilt it. And she's like, no, it's like, it's attached. And I was like, okay. <laughs> this, however, is broken. We asked, oh no. We asked maintenance to fix it and I got an email that said it was fixed, but it wasn't. <laughs> so I have to like keep working on that. Um, but one of my favorite things to do out here is actually work on my puzzle. I brought it around. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I brought it around week five. I chose a really hard puzzle because I knew it was going to keep me occupied for a while. So just like when I have like a little downtime or like a lull in my day, I'll come out here and I'll like I'll sit down and kind of like work through it. So this actually didn't come with the room. It costs a little bit extra, but it's totally worth it because it comes with a separate compartment for the freezer, which I know a lot of um, mini fridges don't. And I really love the fact that it does. So then it doesn't like make all of my like, ref mm. my refrigerables. I don't, how do I say that? My, my perishables. My perishables. My food. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Unlike most mini fridges, this one comes with a separate freezer compartment, which is nice because then it doesn't let the things that I put in the refrigerator get, get too cold. It also comes with a microwave attached on top, which is like really great for like making oatmeal in the morning, like right before class, if I don't have time to go to the dining hall and things like that. And then something that I personally cannot live without are my smoothies. And so I was really fortunate enough, my mom bought me a Nutribullet right before we came up and I like make smoothies almost every single day. And then especially like when I go to the gym, when I go to B-Fit, which is the gym up here on the hill. Over here we have, they give us like this nice little like dining table, which is really cool. Cause sometimes um, when like my roommate's trying to sleep or something, I'll come out here and do schoolwork instead of being in there. So I'm not making a bunch of noise or when my friends come over to do homework, we can all sit down at the table. And then we also have this closet right here. And this is usually where we keep all of our food. These are like my food baskets right here. Yeah, these are also, <laughs> this is the rest of my, my sweet Nate's food, but for the most part, yeah, it's really nice having an extra compartment like that. So speaking of food, how are the dining halls here? Amazing. Um, we are nationally ranked number one in the country for the oh, best yeah, dining halls. Oh yeah, you know it. <laughs> and honestly, they hold true. It's like, it's so good. Everything, it just hits every single time. I just like know the kind of quality food I'm gonna get every time I go. What's your favorite dining hall? That's honestly, oh, that's so hard for me because everything's so good. But truthfully, B Plate is definitely my go-to. I know I might get a little hate for that, but B Plate no, is so oh good. Oh my gosh, B Plate's my fave. And some people like trash on B Plate, but B Plate is known for like being, you know, like more healthy and having more like healthy options. I love B Plate. What's the best food you've had at UCLA? The best food I've had at UCLA, hmm. That's hard <laughs> because everything is so good. But probably one time at Deneb, they had these little, um, Deneb, which is one of the dining halls here, they had these little like bao balls with red bean paste in the middle. Oh and they were gosh. so freaking good. And I had never had them before. And so like, I didn't know what they were. And I was kind of like, oh, like, I don't know. But like, honestly, full send. I'll, I'll try anything in these dining halls because I know it's always going to hit. And so I tried it and I was like, this is so delicious. That sounds so good. Yeah. I don't know. I wish I had that when I was a freshman. What's the worst thing you've had at the dining halls here? <laughs> Ooh, okay. I don't want to drag any of the dining halls, but definitely Rondé East. Sometimes, I know I said everything hits, but sometimes that does not hit. <laughs> sometimes like... 
<laughs> the chow mein or the yeah the chow mein is like a little mm, and the orange chicken is a little mm. yeah it's a very like it's a to go place so it's like very Panda Express kind of vibe yeah that's yeah. for sure so it can be a hit or a miss when it's a hit it's great when yeah. it's a miss it's a miss it is a, it is a fucking miss <laughs> what meal plan do you have. I have 14p, which is premium. Um, that means I get a certain amount of meal plan or meal swipes for the whole quarter and I can use them whenever, which is different from regular where you get 14 a week and you can only use them within the week and then they won't roll over into the following week. Gotcha, so yeah. for 14p, let's say you don't use all 14 swipes in a week, then let's say you use like 12 in a week, you can carry on those other two remaining ones to the next week, right? Yeah, it all like accumulates at the end, which is causing a pretty funny phenomenon on the hill right now where everyone has so many swipes left over. They're all going to like the takeout places and they're trying to like use them all up while they still have time and get those mon their money's worth. And so the lines have been absolutely atrocious on the hill these past two weeks. Oh my gosh, like how long are the waits? I've actually waited up to an hour before. Wait, okay, that yeah. is crazy. I did not have to experience that. No, it's bad. And then there are food trucks currently, like this year, right? Oh yeah, to help kind of um, minimize the wait time for like the dining halls and the takeouts, UCLA got food trucks at the beginning of the quarter, which have proved to be really useful. Um, and honestly, they're all so good, but which like makes sense because everything in LA is so competitive, that's usually good, but yeah, those are also, those also hit. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then this is the toilet, the shower's over there. There's two sinks. This one right here is mine and my roommate's. And then my suite mates are on that side. I keep the majority of my stuff behind um, the mirror or either like in my little makeup bag in my room. Ooh, so it opens up. Yeah, no, it's really nice because it creates extra space that I don't have to like clutter the counter with. Um, and so I have my face wash. I usually just tuck it away when I'm not using it just to like keep the counter more clear. I have my dish soap, my sponges, and then like makeup pads. And then I have my brush for my hydro flask to clean it because sometimes that stuff gets dirty. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so Saxon is different in the sense that it's a suite style dorm, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. So how many people live here? So for us, um, we have two doubles. Two people live in this room A, and then me and my roommate live in this room B right here. Um, some can actually be triples, but I put double as my first choice, so <laughs> luckily I got it. Um, and then another reason that I really enjoy Saxon is there's a ton of extra storage space, and so actually right here is one of the closets that we use. Um, oh my gosh, wait, you have so much storage space, what the heck? Yeah, no, I didn't realize it until like I came in. Um, so we keep a lot of our cleaning products up there, like our fans, our vacuums. Um, our Swiffer or whatever we need to clean. Do you have to clean by yourself or are there any times that like cleaners come by? Like I remember when I was dorming, um, I would have a cleaner come by once a week. Do you have that? Yeah, um, for the bathrooms, they don't clean anything else, but um, they usually do the sinks and then the toilet and the shower, which is really, really nice. And then over here we have our private like shower, which is really, really nice because I only share between me and my suite mates. Um, the one downside to the shower though, I'll say, is it's very small and it doesn't have shelves. You can actually look inside. I had to add my own little shelf from Target. Really, really small. Which like at first was like definitely like a shock. <laughs> but I've gotten used to it over time. Um, I but mean, like at least it's not a communal shower. No, that's facts, yeah. I really appreciate having like my shower literally just outside of my dorm room door. Like I don't have to like walk to it at all. Like. I can like roll out of bed and go to the bathroom in the middle of the night, which is like my favorite thing. Like that's something I was stressing about last year. But yeah, let me show you my room actually. Awesome. It's my closet, forgot to close that. Um, this is my desk where I do the majority of my studying. And there's a parking lot out there, so the dump trucks always come and wake me up in the middle of the night. <laughs> oh, love that. <laughs> yeah. A few moments later. Set. Should I close the window? Um, so this is my closet right here. It's really nice. It has a little mirror that I can look at my, my fit before I go to class. And then, um, and then this right here is my bed, which has my mattress topper. <laughs> Very comfortable. Um, and then this is my desk. It has a lot of storage, a little spot for a lock to be put in to kind oh, of have great. a little privacy in the store. And then also I just like have all my like little knickknacks. Like my friend made me all these crochet animals. And so I just keep them up here. It's like a reminder of home. What's a dorm room essential that you recommend every college student bring on campus? Absolutely um, a mattress topper because these mattresses are pretty uncomfortable, especially if you come from like a nice plush bed at home. How did the move-in process go? The move-in process um, was a little stressful, a little hectic because my mom and I came from San Diego and we drove up. My move-in time was around 5.30 and so there started to be a ton of like traffic on the way up and so I was really scared I was gonna miss my move-in time. Luckily I didn't, but then I got here and since it was a later time in the day, there was already a bunch of students on campus and so having to move 
I don't know if you've seen them, but the big rolly carts that yeah. you see, like, students use to move in, those are so difficult to maneuver, and so trying to just get through these crowds and these tiny little sidewalks was so stressful. But once we finally got in and I got all my things away, it was really nice. What's the laundry situation like? Like, how do you do your laundry here? Yeah, the laundry, honestly, um, I've been, I've talked to my friends and they've had a little bit of difficulty, but here at Saxon specifically, it's honestly, it's really good. Um, there was, like, a little bit of issues with, like, people, like, pulling other people's stuff out of the dryer at the beginning of the quarter, but everyone's kind of chilled out. And so now it's just like, you make sure you take your stuff out within like half an hour of it being done and everything's, everyone's happy with it. That's great. So you just use your broom card to like swipe in and do the laundry, right? Yeah, it's really nice. Oh wait, that's so convenient, so close. No, it's yeah, it's really convenient for me because I live right next to it, <laughs> but I know a lot of people live a little bit further. Oh my gosh, wait, there's so many machines. Yeah, I know. What are the study spaces at Saxon like? The study spaces at Saxon, they're honestly like one of my favorite study spaces on campus. I'm gonna be honest, I just love everything about Saxon. <laughs> like Saxon's really captured my I heart. I gotta say, it is really nice here. Yeah, and it kind of just like, the amount of trees there are, it just makes me feel like so secluded and like in nature, even though I'm literally in the middle of LA. <laughs> um, but yeah, so these right here, this whole building is all study areas, more specifically the top floor. The downstairs is like a little bit more of like a lounge and hangout, but um, if you want, we can walk up the stairs and check it out a little bit. That'd be great. Okay, sweet. Okay, so it's finals week right now, so everyone's studying and a little on edge. So I'll have you guys come in for a quiet little look. This is like what it's like in one of the little study spaces. You can close the door. Um, I think for the most part, it's pretty soundproof. So if we're chatting in here, you won't be able to hear it outside, which is really nice. Yeah, you have your own little table. There's like usually whiteboards in here, so you can like bring your whiteboard markers in. And oh my gosh, like the solve through equations. Yeah, it's really cool. I did not realize Saxon had like individual study rooms. This is so nice. No, it's really nice. Yeah, and it's like it's different because I know even Hitch, which is like the same style as Saxon, they don't have study rooms like this. They have the kitchen <laughs> where you can go and bake and do whatever you want. Yeah. Oh wait, that's cute. Okay, so over here I'll show you this little outdoor space that sometimes we like to come and study at. Obviously we're in LA, so it's like pretty tempted most of the time. And so it's always really great to be outside here. Um, and so over here we have a couple tables and then as well as right up here. Wait, so there are barbecue machines? Yeah, no, isn't that super cool? I didn't realize that until I moved in. A lot of clubs and sometimes our RAs are throw like little barbecues or little parties out here and they'll grill up some burgers. It's honestly so much fun. Lastly, on our tour of Saxon, we have this, it's just like a general open space. People like to come out here and study. Honestly, anywhere that there are tables and chairs, people like to go study. <laughs> but this is a nice spot, um, just because like I said, like California is so beautiful all the time. And then actually one last little fun fact about Saxon is there, um, if you can see up on that building, on the very middle window, just above it, that's a projector. And so they'll project movies and we'll have movie nights out here. Oh my gosh, yeah. that is so cool. Mm -hmm. So how far is a walk to your classes from here? The walk to my classes, it kind of depends. We're like 15 to 25 minutes if you speed walk. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a long walk from the hill, I gotta say. Yeah, no, it really is. But the more you do it, the more you get used to it. Did you go random for your roommate or did you know your roommate beforehand? I actually went random um, and I just kind of like, I knew the universe would help me out <laughs> and give me a good roommate. And I honestly lucked out so good. Like my roommate, my suitmates are just the most amazing people that you'll ever meet. Do you feel safe living on the hill and walking around at night? Yeah, I feel really safe. There's usually students out at all hours of the day. And so I always know like there are people around me, which like makes me feel safe, like other students. How do you get mail? Like, does it come directly to your door or is there a mailing center? Yeah, there's a mailing center on campus. Um, it's located kind of like in the middle of the hill. Everybody on the hill's mail goes to there and then we'll send you an email when it's in and then you go and pick it up. At the beginning of the quarter it was pretty hectic because everyone was still moving in and like realizing they had forgotten things and like shipping it to themselves um, but honestly now it's died down significantly and I can just walk in and like grab what I need to go what I need and like leave super quickly. What's your favorite part about living in the dorms? My favorite part, 100% hands down, the dining halls. <laughs> we are number one in the nation for a reason. Absolutely. Anything you would change about your dorm experience? No, not at all. I That's love great. every aspect of Saxon. I love every aspect of like all the experiences I've had here. So if you could go back to the beginning of the year, would you choose Saxon again or would you choose a different dorm? I would choose Saxon every single time. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> so that's about it. Thank you so much for showing us around. Of course. Thank you so much for having me. <laughs>